Hey guys, welcome back, or bomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Now today, people, today, we are playing something incredibly, heavily requested today. Um, before we do that, let's go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already. If you enjoy the video and you, and you want to wait till the end of the video, drop a like then. But remember, if this video does get 50 likes, we do give away one Sun and Moon base and one Guardians Rising pack on PCGO to five people if this video hits 50 likes. So, uh, and if you comment down below so I can actually have a random person to pick. Um, but today's comment question of the day is, who is your favorite ringleader of a evil team in the Pokemon franchise? Like, uh, like Archie and Maxi for Team Aqua Team Magma, Giovanni for, um, for Team Rockets, Lusamine for Aether, or my boy Guzma, because today we're playing Galissapod today. Oh man, my boy Guzma, because you know, it's your boy. I love that, I love that guy. He's one of my favorite characters in Pokemon, man. He's so cool, his design is rad. I love I love how he's like, you're stupid in the game. I don't know, man. That was, that was a I love someone, I love someone, dude. Anyways. We're playing Glitzpawn. This is a deck that everybody wanted me to play, and I mean everyone. And it took me a long time to figure out how I wanted to play this deck, right? And the longest time, I was like, I don't like this deck. I think it's bad. I don't think it's that great. And, like, I'm kind of warming up to Glitzpawn decks now. Uh, as you can see, Glitzpawn is 130 HP uh, grass-type Pokemon uh, with armor. The ability that takes 30 less damage from attacks. It's very, very strong, actually. Um... Uh, in, in our current meta, it's actually super duper nice because uh, early game against against Garb, you can take very little damage uh, while you set up slowly. Because against Garb, you can play the slow game. Against Tauros, you're only taking 30 damage because they can't increase the damage with the Choice Band, and you can still you can essentially never attack until you get the Oko because you have the attack Resolute Claw. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX, is attacked with 70 more damage. So you're gonna hit for 150 damage, which is not not a terrible amount, but um, you know we can add, we can add things up. But the biggest issue I had with this deck is the fact that Resolute Claw only has that boost of damage against EX and GX cards. Because what are you gonna do against non-EX GX cards? Those are gonna be really hard to beat because you're only hitting 80. Choice Band doesn't increase the damage, and then we do play Choice Band. Um, I guess we could play Kikui, but more importantly. I remember that this card's a thing. We have our promo Lurantis. It's its debut. I wanted this to debut with my actual Lurantis deck, uh, but because Bulu is not out for like another. Oh, it's, it comes out tomorrow. Well, at least from the time of me recording this. So actually, I might have not have that video up for a little bit. But um, sunny day here is really really cool. It's a promo Lurantis. You can actually find these in stores. I bought myself four of them because they're kind of really good cards, and I wanted my place at IRL as well. This attack, does, this attack of your Grass and Fire type Pokemon do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Love it. <laughs> really good ability. Being able to increase your damage, and we play three of them, so I guess in theory you can go from 80 damage to an extra 60 damage, which is 140 damage. 140 damage? I like that number more. Hitting for 140 on non-EX GX cards? Big fan of that. So Glisspod comes through, and then if you have just one on the bench with your Choice Band, you hit for 170 with two, uh, I mean not with Choice Band, without Choice Band you hit for 170, but but with Choice Band you hit for 200. 200 is enough to knock out Sylveons, Umbreons, Espeons, um, and whatever other cards have 200 or less HP. You know what, you get the idea. And then 180 with just Choice Band by itself knocks out uh, things like uh, Tauros and Drampa, uh, other staple cards you see in GX decks and whatnot. So. I like Glisspot. Glisspot has its place. I think I think it has its place because you can play differently around different decks, and um, the setup is all going to be the same. But the speed of your setup is going to be different throughout the the decks that you're playing. I guess I don't know. I mean, obviously Garbodor has its ways to deal with you, Delinquent and um, and uh, Team Rocket's handiwork and stuff like that could eventually add up. But I mean, like whatever. You know what? Glisspot's cool. I like Glisspot. We're gonna play, we're gonna play we're gonna play some games with it. So we have a three three line of Glisspot with a with a three three line of Fomantis, one Shebe for the draw support, and two Tapu Leles. Um, there we go. Uh, that's our Pokemon line. Everything else is kind of support. We play one Escape Rope because the retreat costs are not all that great. We do play Float Stones, but having that one E Rope is always nice. Uh, one F Field Blower for those uh, field, uh for those Fighting Fury buffs that could be problematic. 
two level balls for our wind pods and fomantises. One revitalizer because it's a grass deck. One super rod for those grass energies back in the deck. I believe two or maybe one. Oh yeah, only one trainer mail because it's all I had room for in this deck. This deck's actually kind of tight. Uh, four ultra balls, four VS seekers, four forest, uh, two Lysanders. I believe three ends because draw support is important in this deck. One Olympia for more of that retreat cost kind of stuff. Uh, one Kakui because I like increasing my damage as much as possible in this deck because sometimes you need it. Sometimes you can't play around. Sometimes you get ability lock, things like that. So one Kakui. Four Sycamores for the draw support, three choice bands because Lele's and Galispods can attack and you know why not. Uh, three f three floatstones or is it two? No, it's three. No, oh, it's two. Never mind, I can't see. Uh, two floatstones because uh, floatstone is floatstone and floatstone is good. Um, four DCEs and six grass energies. That's going to be the deck though, guys. Let's go ahead and find some matches. And that was the first time I actually said my transition, uh, my transition thing correctly in a long time. Let's see, was it Glissopod Lorantis or Lorantis Glissopod? I think it was Glissopod Lorantis. I think it's this way. I don't remember how I, I have too many decks now, dude. Hold on. Flygon, Garb, Guardi, it's not Glissopod Lorantis. So it looks like it should be Lorantis Glissopod. Where is it? Where are you? What was the deck called? I don't remember. Unless I just, I missed it. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this carefully, guys, hold on. Hold on, give me one second. You know, one second. I know. I need to clean up these. It's been a long time since I've cleaned up my, my account. I need to start cleaning up again. Where are you? Where did I what did I call it? Unless it just completely misses. Okay, so here's the L's. Lorantis update, Lorantis Eevee. Uh, Lone Lucario. Those are not those none of them are Lorantis Galisopod. So it should be G's, right? So but there's only two G's. Is it a star deck? Did I start by accident? I might have started by accident. Let's go find out. Also, ignore the clicking. I actually know a lot of people don't like the clicking. Also, a lot of people don't like that I play the music on a repeat. I found that out recently. Did I accidentally, like, did it just not save? I'm confused. Hold on. Let's go back. Uh, this is so weird. Professional, guys, I understand. Um, golly. Oh, I called it Sunny Day. Why did, okay. I'm dumb. <laughs> I had my old deck list was called Sunny Day. It was called uh, Glisspot Lorantis, but because I updated it during my live stream, uh, I just I, I guess I forgot. Anyways, yeah, I think between games I'll probably switch music, or maybe just whenever I feel like switching music. I don't know, but I found that out the other day. I thought that was really funny. Hopefully, we can find a game and it's not like three Garbador games in a row because I recorded this video a while back and I played three Garbs in a row and it was very boring. Like, like I won them all. I won, I won all but one of the games. I played against Trev Garb and I lost it. And um, that was nice. Whoa, this coin is dope. It's orange. That's so cool. I want that coin. Somebody tell me where you get that coin. Somebody let me know. I want it. Feels wow, man. This guy's a good guy. He, he seems like a good guy. I lost the coin flip. It's okay, though. I get to see this face more. Oh, I love it. I love, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, Wimpod lead. Opening hand is okay. It is not great, but it is okay. I don't know what I'm playing against, though, so I guess we'll find out. Also, my chair keeps squeaking. I need a new chair. I need a lot of stuff. I need a lot of stuff to make myself a better YouTuber. Oren Guru. The purple monkey, bro. Some people say I look like Oren Guru. Not at all, actually. I lied. That was a complete lie. I'm playing against Solgaleo from the looks of it. Maybe Solgaleo Medgross, or maybe just straight Sol. Oh, Scizor, I lied. Is it Scizor Delmines? Because I've been trying to build Scizor Delmines. That's been a lot of fun for me. I play Skyfield and Field Blower to get rid of my own Spirit Link to uh, attach to attach a uh, to attach a Choice Band to my Mega Scizor. That way I can hit 120 or 180 very easily. Um, dope. I guess I'll get a Lorantis. Our Fomantis, we have. Why do I? This is always happen. Every time I play this deck, I always have one Fomantis and one Wimpod prize. That seems to be a common trend for me. Uh, I don't want to attach to an, the Wimpod, but I think I kind of have to. That makes things a bit awkward. <laughs> um, maybe I can switch. Maybe I'll get an escape rope or something. I don't know. It does. Okay, we have one. And we got the escape rope. All right, so do I want to abuse it? I actually am stuck for next turn, which kind of sucks. I can always ram. <laughs> I'm afraid of him switching and knocking me out, which could be problematic. Uh, also, because I'm stuck, that's also problematic. I'm just going to attack anyways, who cares? Get rammed, bro. 
get rammed. Boom. All right now, don't have options to switch out and attack me because that could be annoying. I got, oh, there it is. All right, well, rip me. There's a belt. Oh, he's playing just regular. Oh, is there going to be regular Scizor Delmice without the Mega? Um, it does like, what, 110 damage? I guess. Oh, there comes the attack. Oh, he didn't even attack me. Huh. I'll take it, especially since I just top deck that. That's really, really nice. Now let's grab a Sycamore, I think is my play. Sure. Sure, I would love to draw a lot. Also, my computer's like screaming, so. Once again, my mic is not the best right now. I have a new mic because my other mic broke. So if you guys hear uh, like a hissing noise, that's my computer and I'm doing my best to edit out as much of that noise as possible. And maybe you guys don't hear anything and it's just perfect. That could also be the case. I guess I can attack this turn, but I'm not going get, to be getting a knockout. No, oh, that just kind of sucks. I'm in. I'm whiffing a lot of my cards here. It's weird. Do I play Shaman? No, I think I just grab Glyph Spot and start attacking. I can attach the Wimpod next turn as well, I suppose. Play this down. If, I really, if I'm going to get Delinquid, I just watch. I'm a Resolute Claw for 80. The biggest issue with this deck is that you can't get Okos without your Lorances down. But if I just got, like, two Lorances down, I would have got a knockout. But the Sogaleo is a threat. Sogaleo can Oko me through my ability, which is very, very terrifying. This might play Steven. I'm not too sure why. Steven I can understand in Sylveon, because I've seen people play Steven in Sylveon. I don't know. I don't know about there, though. Let's see if he starts attacking me with Scizor. I can get a knockout against him, though, if he does that, if I get my Field Blower. So I don't know if that's his best play, because he doesn't get a knockout in return, he doesn't have any Delmises down. He only hits for 120, and then minus 30, that's only 100 damage. Of course that means that sucks because my Glisspod's going to die the following turn. But, we have a Sycamore in hand now, pretty much. We have an energy that we can attach to our Wimpod, unless we draw a DC, then I have to attach that instead. Let's see, my opponent's really thinking about this play. So it's such a weird matchup to have, like, the first game, especially since, like, I spent most of my stream battling against Garbodor after Garbodor after Garbodor. Oh, there, there's a DC I was just talking about. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I guess he's trying to get a, a Sogaleo out. We can't Oko Sogaleo, unfortunately, especially since we have a lot of stuff prized. Hey, there we go. That's what I like to see. This is what I like to see. Uh, I'll save the Field Blower. But we have grass, we have we have stuff. We have stuff we can do now. Um, we have a lot of stuff we can do, actually. I'm going to save this for Shaman as well. I'm just going to Resolute Claw here. Boom. We have another attacker ready next turn if he doesn't end me. We have a prize here. Uh, what is that going to give us? A Seeker. Seeker's actually good. So now I don't actually have to grab Shaman. I can grab the other Lorantis. Or I can just Lysander as well. There's Sogaleo. Let's see if he's going to Soul Burst or if he's going to use the ability. I can see the reasoning behind playing Scizor, because Ultra Road plus Scizor means you can always hit for 110. But 110 is just not enough. <laughs> 110 is just not that much damage. Let's see, is he going to go for Sh uh, Lele? Is he going to force me to switch? Oh, he's going for the Larantis. Alright, cool. So that's a, that's a knockout for him. But I have Field Blower, so I still get this knockout on this uh, Scizor. But he can return knock me out with... Uh, with Sogaleo next turn, which is like whatever to me. I don't really care about that. Uh, for now, we have an. Oh my god, look at these amazing hands. Uh, now I now I kind of want to hold because I don't really want to do anything else. I'm going to field blow here, just get some knockouts. Um, I should have got rid of this. Oh, whatever, who cares? Um, let me get another Wimpod down. Isn't it prized? Maybe I do stick more this turn. I'm going to play this anyways just to find out. Yeah, my Wimpod's prized. Alright, let's get some Wimpods off the prizes here, please. Let me get another Lorantis, and then I'm going to Sycamore. Because apparently I've been Sycamoring every turn, like, for most of my games I've been playing lately. I try my best to avoid dropping Shamans on Lele's unless I have to. But Lele is cool because you can still attack, right? But, like, sometimes Shamans you don't want to drop. I really need another Galispod. Because if he knocks me out here, I want to have another Wimpod ready to start attacking. Luckily, I get a knockout here, but... Look at that, 200 damage, boom. But it'd be really nice if I can get another Wimpod, please. Come on. No, just I'll make my basics that I need to attack prize. That's cool. All right, so if he knocks me out here, he can't attack easily next turn. So there's that benefit. Sunsteel Strike, we get knocked out, but we can get a 2 KO with this. We also don't have a Choice Band yet, so there's a lot of stuff we're actually missing. 
Uh, I might just, uh, I have to set up this for the time being since I don't have another Wimpod, which kind of sucks. But I can get an, I can get a final prize with that at some point. Um, hmm. I guess I just attack and hold, because all these cards could be useful later. I want a Resolute Claw for a good amount of damage. Yeah, 170. That way, if he does any shenanigans and knocks me out, I can still knock him out with this. How many DCs are left? I have Lysander now, which is why I did that play. Now, oh, what's he doing here? Is he center leading? That's still a knockout, bro. It won't save you. It ain't saving you. This is why I held on to my stuff, though. All right, let's get, let's get, let's get the card. Let's get Lysander. I'm gonna attach this because uh, that way, if my Glisspod doesn't get any knockouts next turn, I can still knock things out with uh, Lele. Boom. Resolute Claw. There we go. Another knockout on the Sokaleo, and he concedes because we won that game. That was nice and powerful. Good job, Glisspot. Let's get another game. This video might be shorter than usual. I'm waiting for my buddy Sticks because I think we might be recording our thing today. So uh, yeah, this might be this might this might mess with the with the time frame, right? Because I'll probably upload this much later than I upload this me versus Sticks battles. <laughs> um, Ooh, no Pokemon. All right, cool. Hopefully we don't have all of our basics prized again, because that would be, you know, nice to not have prized. It looks like we're playing against item lock, and we're going first, so we can actually do our best to play as many items as possible before we item locks us. But uh, uh, it's, it's not a great matchup for us, only because, um, what's it called? Decidueye goes through our ability, so obviously its ability, its ability means that it can put two damage counters, and we don't reduce that damage. But my opponent's taking their sweet time. All right, let's see what we can get here. Let's get a good starting hand. Please, can I please get a good starting hand? I would also like to drop Forest before they do, because, uh... Okay, cool, I play, what, six, eight, nine basics, and I can't get one? Oh yeah, let's just get the Lele, that's cool. All right, game, I, I see you. I see you with your garbage self. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, all right, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to deal with. My opponent gets all the- I mean, I need a top deck and end here. Unless they're not playing, uh, item lock. That'd be ideal. Then I don't have to worry as much. Wow, I can't believe after all that and I got a Lele start. Ugh, what a shame. What a shame. What, three Glitz Pots, three Fomantises, two Leles, and a Shaman? I think that's my basic line. Hmm. Heh. What's this? Why is my phone beeping? I don't care about Facebook. I don't even use Facebook except for my Facebook group. Is my phone not charging now? Oh my god. Come on, bro. Hello. I'm trying to record. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Genrich. Nice to see you. Is he going to stall me? Because this is going to be really annoying. Because I'm trying to record. I'm going to give him a heart. So he knows. So he knows I care about him. So he knows that even though he's taking forever, I still love this man. Okay, we have almost all of our basics. We have one full Mantis prize. Uh, I have to go on top deck mode though, because I'm stuck. Um, yep, that is a pass for me. Sure, I'll pass, whatever. I'm stuck. Hopefully he beats me quickly so I can move on. <laughs> Because I don't I, when I when I dead draw like this against against a guy who's playing item lock with three six nine with ten cards in their hand turn one after putting down a basic doesn't look good for you <laughs> it doesn't look good for you on your side so I'm gonna go ahead and check up on these awesome bids by the way guys uh, my buddy my buddy let me borrow some some moolah oh we're playing against Lorances as well unless he's playing like I, I don't know my buddy is letting me borrow some stuff some cash. Uh, I'm using his Amazon stuff, and I bought a bunch of really, really good dealed cards recently. So I'm pretty happy about that. Like I got five of my missing ultra rares online. Since I'm since I'm selling all my booster boxes that I'm getting in the mail, uh, except for one, which I'm going to be doing with Cipher. My, oh, my buddy Cipher Blocka. He's an old YouTuber friend of mine, guys. Uh, you might have seen him on the channel if you guys are some OGs. But um, he was doing. He does a lot of Wi-Fi stuff, and he's doing theories and stuff now, which is really cool. So like, shout out to Cypher Blocka. If you guys want to look him up on um, on YouTube, 
Uh, he had a Marsh Shadow theory video come out recently. That was really, really, it was really fun. It was really cute because it was like cringy cute. You know what I mean? Like it was, it was a really fun watch. Um, so check that out. But uh, he's going to be coming into town. So me and my boy Blizz are going to go hang out with him and we're going to do some box openings together because he got, he won a box and I decided to save, to sell all but one booster box I'm getting in the mail so that I can open a box with him so we can do a box battle. And hopefully I can pull something good so I can sell that as well. <laughs> so I'm not losing too much money off this. But you know, sometimes you gotta have fun, you know? Losing a little bit of money just to have fun with my friends, I'm okay with that. At the very least, I'm glad he's not timer stalling me, because he's actually playing the game now. But like, I'm trying to get these Alolan Ninetales, brother, like $20 a piece if you find them on the cheap. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get one more. Actually, I need two more, to be fair. But like... I want, I want my, I also need like three more uh, secret rare DCEs, I need one more hyper rare Lele, and I think Mike, uh, hopefully I can get my cards in the mail soon, but like Mike said he, he hooked me up with an aqua patch for a trade that we're doing, so there we go, I would have maximum rarity, so everybody's yelling at me about not having a maximum rarity Lapras deck, well I'm gonna have maximum rarity Ninetales at some point, uh, we are still stuck, and I don't want to drop forest, so I'm gonna pass, you're still very very stuck, it's very unfortunate. I definitely don't want to drop four, drop fours for this man. I don't want him to item lock me right away. All I need to do is top deck a N, a, a Lele, a Shaman, a Sycamore, get my one trainer mail. Like, there's a lot of cards I can get here. Let's count all the outs, guys. We have one Lele in the deck, all right? We have four Sycamores, so that's five outs so far. We have one Shaman to help us draw, so that's six, six outs. We have... Um, one trainer mail, seven outs. Uh, what else is there? Oh, we have ends. We have three ends, so that's ten outs. We even have a Kakui, that's eleven outs, right? So eleven out of our forty-four cards, we have a one in four chance of top decking it. Well, now Shaman's a lot less of an out because we didn't drop our fours. Which I was talking about, I want to drop it before him, but he seemed pretty stuck, so I didn't want to yet. But it looks like he is no longer stuck. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the case anymore. But if we can get set up, we, we have a really good chance of winning. He's playing Lorantis, and uh, we hit that thing hard. And it's not the Sidui HP levels. Like, all we need is two baby Lorantis down, and uh, we have a decent chance of winning. If he item locks us first, though, that's going to suck, because then I'm not going to be able to play, uh, what's it called? Um, not going to be able to play Revitalizer. And there it is. So hopefully I don't get Sycamore, because that would be annoying. Ah. <sighs> Because then I'm losing these two and I'm going to have a really hard time this whole game. Because I only have the one choice ban attached and uh, life is hard. This, this game is hard. I'm trying to record a quick video too. Like, this man is really, really taking his time with me. And it's very frustrating. And I accidentally opened up my notepad and it, there's notes everywhere on my computer now. And of course we don't even get a card because... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I was having this problem on stream too. Like, my top decking game has been off so off lately it's been ridiculous ah oh, man like i was playing i was playing gyarados on stream right and i was passing by heliolux shout out to him he's one of my mods on my live streams and uh, uh he was saying he was saying he added more consistency to the deck that he gave me and somebody was taking like three wins in a row because he kept he because the deck was super consistent for him and i was like that's really cool and then i couldn't do anything for like three games it was it was it's just me it's just it's just me oh boy at least I don't have to lose one of these now but I have so much draw support in this deck like I usually only play two ends but I upped it to three in this deck just to be a little bit more consistent and look at me now guys just <laughs> crying crying I'm sad he's in the Olympia here does he have the thingy he has all these energies on the board, too. Yep, there it is. Well, here comes some knockouts. If I can get another energy, though, I can at least do damage before he knocks me out. Unless he attaches this turn. Nope. Alright, so I can at least do damage before he knocks me out. Or I can retreat, depending on what I top deck. Okay. End my soul. Uh. Yeah, whatever. I'm not, just whatever. I don't care. I don't care. Take it. Just take it already. This is, this is sad. Anyways, you guys get to see an example of what happens to me on the, on the huge. <laughs> on the huge. 
All right, let's see what I can do about this. If I don't chop deck anything here, I'm forfeiting. I'm just scooping up right now. Cool, I'm leaving. Bye, guys. Thank, thank you, sir, for taking up so much of my time playing slowly. Anyways, I'm, just, I'm, a little, I'm a little salty. I'm a little salty. No offense to that, man. He seems like a good guy. I'm sure he's a great dude. The, um, you know what? It's been a long time since I've done one of these. I'm going to give out a code real quick. I have this stack of codes here. Um, I'm going to give out a code in one of this video. So are you guys ready? Because I'm going to say it out loud. For those of you that stayed that stayed and watched me uh, through that through that mess. Okay, ready? Are you guys ready? I hope you all are ready. Ready to take notes? You guys got your notes ready? All right. P Z Z P Z J. All right, that's the first letters. P Z J. Um, X T nine Y R B B N G V. All right, I hope you guys got that. I'm not saying it again. I'm not saying it again. I threw it away. It's gone. It's tossed. It's in my trash can now. It's gone forever. I'm, maybe I should start doing that again. Ooh, Taurus. Here's a good matchup for us. Here's an amazing matchup for us, actually. Let's get a Wimpod. Okay. It's an amazing matchup for us when two if, when two of our Wimpods aren't prized. <sighs> this game is garbage. Why do I play Pokemon? Why do I even put myself through this? <laughs> Why? Why am I playing this game? And I have a Sycamore, I guess it's not too bad, but like, uh, I'm losing this because whatever, who cares at this point? <laughs> Hopefully I can get a big knockout with this and he doesn't knock me out first. You know, if I can get a decent hand for once in my life. Um, I want to keep all these cards. So I'm going to pass. I'll let him knock me out, I don't care. All these cards are good though. You can Ultra Ball for Glyspot. Maybe I, I should have evolved. I forgot I had fours on the field. I should have evolved into Glyspot first. No! Don't! Don't land this. Thank you. No! <laughs> Stop it! I need those! Okay, cool. I was ready I was ready for the third one. Alright, well this hand was great, but you know, whatever. We're playing against Garp, so we can play the slow game. How many items are gone now? Only two. So he's sitting for 40, which is 10 against uh, this thing. Too bad I have to play a lot. Oh, okay, never mind. I was about to say, too bad I have to play a lot. I'm no! No! Thank you. <laughs> Get your DCE and knock me out already, bro. Like, whatever. If not, I'm going to have a really good turn one. Actually, that's not true. I have to play Sycamore again. Choice Band? That's fine. That doesn't actually do anything for you. Yeah, that's true. He hits 90 against this. And he's going to set up. All right. Okay. Don't get. Don't you dare get E-Hammer or your fourth hammer. I swear this is like playing Steven. <laughs> You'll get that reference whenever uh, we, I upload the match versus Steven. All right, you knocked me out. All right, so I need a choice band here. Oh, nice, thank you. That's the wrong, yeah, here we go. Now I need a grass energy. And I think I discarded one, which means this Sycamore has to not fail me whatsoever. And I'm gonna play Sycamore, so please, please game, don't fail me now. Please don't fail me now. All right, so it really sucks that I have a bunch of my Pokemon that I need to attack with our prize, because I would like to continuously set up Glissopods, because that's the whole point of the deck, is a streamlined Glissopod. But you know, whatever. It's Sycamore here, I think. Uh, I could have end, but whatever. I have a lot of items down there, though, I'm not gonna lie. That's four items now. That's 80 damage. Ugh. Grass? How? 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 <laughs> How is this game so stupid? Alright, let's get a... That's 10 energies now. Let's get a Shaman and maybe draw it. How many energies are prized? That's what I want to know. Uh, one. One energy is prized. There's four in the deck though, and I'm drawing three cards. Please? Please, game? Please, game? Pretty please? Pretty please? Come on! <laughs> ah, oh my god. Kill me. Kill me. Just end me, dude. This is stupid. This is so dumb. I hate Pokemon, guys. Just want to make that a, another fact. To throw for you guys. This is Pokemon's bad. Pokemon's bad game. <sighs> He's probably going to play E-Hammers and Delinquents and... Not delinquents, uh, Team Flare Grunts, and I'm gonna be sad again. I'm already sad, but you know. I was just gassing up Glisspod. 
I was just having a good time with GlitzPod. I was winning so many games with GlitzPod on stream. Somebody was even saying, wow, the GlitzPod's a lot better for deck than I thought it was. And I was like, I agree. And now I take it back. GlitzPod's garbage again. GlitzPod's a bad deck. Don't play GlitzPod, guys. <laughs> I take it all back completely. GlitzPod, you failed me. You're my boy and all, but like... <sighs> Luckily, if I get a Grass Energy, I knock this out. Because, like, you know, uh, the thing... Grass? No? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh man here just take it just take the stuff I don't want to draw you I want to get a grass energy come on he doesn't knock me out with Tauros come on thank you thank you appreciate it let me knock this thing out and let me knock out Tauros and then let me have a good time there we go so now we can knock out Garbs we have the magic number give me a Wimpod that's not a Wimpod but I'll take the Lysander just in case Watch him play Hex here and knock me out. That'd be wild. Because he does it exactly enough to knock me out if he plays a Hex. But I knock him out if he doesn't play a Hex. Uh, I knock him out even if he gets rid of my Choice Band, which is kind of nice. He's going to bridge it here. This might be my last game, guys. I am, <laughs> I am at a point right now. I have reached a state of mind. I have found inner peace, and it's not Galispod. <laughs> Delicious tank. I can't attack after you knock me out, but I'll tank it for now. Uh, Field blower, don't really need it. Uh, Kikui, don't really need it. Lysander, don't really need it. It's gonna come in handy when I knock this out, though. No energies. That sucks. Uh, I just want to attack here. Get clawed. At the very least, please give me a wimpod. There's two of them in there. A two out of five chance of getting it off the prizes, please. Thank you. All right, so now if he knocks me out, I can put down another Wimpod and slowly start setting that one up again. He needs to become a Garb here, and then he knocks me out, which is sad. Uh, it just, it's, it's even more sad because, like, I can't do anything at this point. Because I hit for, what, 1, 2, 3? That's 60 damage. Uh, with 20, that's 80. It'd be nice if I can t if I top deck a DCE, I can knock it out with this, but then he gets a return knockout with Glisspod. With another... With another uh, Garb, because I think there's a lot of items down there. One, two, three. Only three, actually. Hold on. Hold on. Have I been playing this like a lord? I think I might have been playing this like a lord. Hold on. How many items are down there? There should be more than that, right? One, two, three. There's only three? Then how come he's doing so much? 20, 40, 60. He hit me with 70 just now, didn't he? There has to be more than just three down there. I'm confused. There's definitely more than three. Hold on. Let me check my discard one more time. Oh, there we go. For some reason, it was glitched. Uh, hold on, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six now. Okay, never mind. Well, that's not a knockout on my Lele. And we got the play I was just talking about, which is handy. I mean, I won't complain. <laughs> not at all. I'll take it. One and all. So we get a knockout here, and then we just knock out Shaman for game. Uh, energy drive. Because we hit four, 120. And against Shaman, we hit for 40, 80, 110. So all we have to do is Lysander out Jay. We have all of our Lysanders back in the deck if he ends us. Um, we have two Seekers as well, which is not good because we need to have the things in our de deck first. Um, he's going to Float Stone here. Probably try... Oh, he's going to end now. Uh, so rip me. Rip my hand. Yeah, okay. All right. Give me this Lysander right now. Give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Get the, coming down with the sickness. Anyway, enough of that. This is me going crazy. And that's not what I wanted. It's close enough though. He turns off our abilities, which doesn't actually do anything for him right now. What sucks is that I'm probably going to have to play uh, Sycamore here. So that's another couple items. Yeah. One, two, three, four, 80. 80 is not enough. I need one more energy. I think I super out here. Sure, put back those energies, and I guess a Galissapod, because I might have a prize for all I know. A little Sycamore here, unfortunately. Because I could knock it out with Kikui, but I need to have stuff. I would like to have an energy attached to Wimpod, just in case. Or I can just get another, I don't know. There's a Galissapod down, though. Um... 
I have Lysan every game. One, two, three, four. That's 80 damage. This would be 100 damage. Would be knockout. If he tops deck, a, if he tops deck an energy and garb somehow, do I lose? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 100. Uh, seven, hold on, six, seven, eight. That is a knockout. That is indeed a knockout. Um, since he already knocks me out. There's not really a point preserving my items. I want to play down as much stuff as possible. If I knock this out, I mean, what if he plays Shay? If he plays Shay or Lele, I don't want him to have those outs. I'm not gonna knock this thing out. I'm just gonna attack. Energy, energy drive for damage. Um, how much DCEs are gone? There's three, which means there's only one more potentially. He's gonna end again, which is fine. That's why I play down all my stuff. Um, if I get a DCE, if I get my Lysander back, there's out. I have outs. Two sick, two seekers. That's bad. Oh come on now. They finally got a heads. Oh, and it's on the glitch spot. All right, cool. Um, I mean, I guess I could just knock this out. He's probably gonna let me knock it out. I need a top deck of Lele or a Lysander. Come on, glitch spot. He gave me all this bad luck earlier. Bring it back. Come on, come on. Bring it back. I want my, I want my luck back. It'd be really nice. Oh, don't have an energy. Don't you have an energy. Don't you dare have an energy. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, that's a knockout now, because I can play Kikui. And this is a bigger threat than anything else. Now I'll take it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, we'll take it. Because we knock him out with Kikui, and then he gets a knocked out next turn. Awesome. All right, so we beat Garb. We managed to play the slow game, early game, um, which is nice. It helps against the Garb matchup. We were really unlucky though with a lot of those draws, as you guys definitely saw. But this is the deck. This is actually the deck I really, really like. I played it. I played a couple games on stream with it. I recorded a video with it prior to this one that just ended up failing because it was a very boring video. And um, and uh, uh, and I just played these games, and I'm very happy with this build. I don't think there's anything I would want to change. But if you guys would like to let me know in the comments below what you guys what you guys would like to change. Let me know. Answer the common question of the day. Drop a like if you haven't already. If you enjoyed the video, I was thinking about dropping Kikui, but Kikui came in clutch that game, so I'm gonna keep Kikui. Um, the, the Kikui's help a lot in this deck. Uh, anyways, drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz. Let me know in the comments about, down below what deck you want to see me play next. Now that I played the dreaded Glispa that everybody keeps telling me to play, I don't have a deck list, and I don't have a deck list that's super duper uh, demanded. So let me know in the comments down below what you want to see me play. Drop a like, subscribe, share, all that good jazz, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.